What's going on guys? Today, I'm going to be talking to you about one of my all time favorite small diaphragm condenser microphones, the Shure SM81. This thing is awesome. It is, it is a terrific microphone. I've had it for over two years now is actually, oh, maybe over, over three years now. I mean, this is like when I first really got into doing home recording. This was one of the first diaphragm, uh, or excuse me, condenser microphones that I picked up. And it was actually a small diaphragm condenser, which is interesting because I feel like typically people pick up the large diaphragm condensers, but this is the route I wanted to go. I wanted to record acoustic guitar and I wanted to get a great sound doing it. And this is one that I heard was excellent at doing that. So that's why I got it. And yeah, I've loved it ever since. It has an extremely natural sound, which I really dig. It's you know, great for acoustic. The smooth, there's a smooth and flat frequency response on this thing. Um, and basically what that means is there, there's not any hype in the lows or highs so in the bass or like the treble. There's not you know any peaks or anything. It kind of is like what, what goes into this microphone is pretty much what you're gonna get, which is great. And yeah, it doesn't really require much post-processing you know, in the music world. And so I'm doing that anyway. But you know, if you just want a nice, like almost kind of like live style recording, this is gonna do just that. Uh, as for the build, this thing is very, very durable. Definitely not as durable as the 57 or 58. I um, mean, in terms of the build, it is. It's nice, it's kinda got this like stainless steel, like nickel sort of brushed build, and the body is very strong, very sturdy. Although, you're not gonna wanna, you know, press this thing up against, you know, a roaring Marshall guitar amp or put it on like a snare, right in front of a snare. You know, it will bust. So definitely don't do that. But you know, for a, for a condenser microphone, it's very, very sturdy. There's a low frequency roll off on the front right here. Um, so right now it's switched to flat frequency response. You can actually, it's actually pretty difficult to do with one hand because it's so small, you gotta kind of get it, get in there. Flat frequency response on the front and then you have low roll off and then kind of a more extreme um, low roll off. You also then have this pad right here. It's a negative 10 and then you can also roll to zero. So it's almost like a little collar around the neck of the microphone. Um, you can easily twist it um, to turn the pad on or off. It comes with a nice little mic clip. You will need to use that mic clip. It will not work with a 57 or 58 mic clip as this microphone is thinner. Um, it's definitely got that like uh, bullet style microphone sort of build to it. And so you will need that thinner mic clip. Don't try and put in the other one, it will fall out. And then it also comes with this little leather carrying pouch, which I really like. And again, um, you won't be able to use a smaller one. This is a longer microphone. You will need the longer pouch to keep it in there. There is another plastic box that it comes with, but this is just easier for me to store. It's less bulky, especially for the size of this microphone. Um, so I really just kind of like this. I stick with this. And all for recording, this is really my first choice go-to for small diaphragm condenser uh, recording. And it's great for a very wide array of acoustic instruments. Um, I mostly use it on an acoustic guitar. I'm a, a, a guitarist, gets great sound. I've also used it on violins, mandolins, um, smaller percussions, such as shakers or tambourines. And so it's great, you know, really for all of that stuff. It is a cardioid microphone, so, you know, a lot of the sound that you're gonna get, you're going to want to direct it towards the front grill. It tries to attenuate all sounds that come into the sides and the back. Again, that's what also makes it a great live microphone is that, you know, it won't ha uh, pick up any sort of sound from the back so you don't get feedback. And then also when you're recording, it's not gonna pick up anything else in the environment that you're in. I record a lot with this in an untreated room. You know, it doesn't pick up other weird sounds like my hard drive running or air conditioner or anything like that. It is a condenser mic, which means that it is 48 volt phantom powered. So you will need an interface that can provide that. If you hope to get home and plug this thing in and just have it work without, you know, trying 48V, not gonna work. It's not gonna work at all. It's not even gonna, you know, run. So you're going to need that as well. You can't just pick up this thing on its own and expect to get using it right away. Honestly, besides that, I have nothing bad to say about this microphone. It's one of my favorites. I love Shure. I have a ton of Shure microphones and Shure equipment in general. And so I would highly, highly recommend this if you're looking for a solid small diaphragm condenser. Um, with a really crisp, clear sound. All right, guys, happy recording.